Air travel can wreak havoc on your skin. Even though you think it's only a few hours of a flight, it's really detrimental to skin. So if you're proactive and you're doing something while you're in flight and pre, afterwards you're gonna get off and it's not gonna feel like your face is gonna fall off. We spoke with esthetician and founder of Beauty Magnet, Liz Kennedy, to learn how to keep our skin glowing while flying. It all starts before takeoff. A lot of women make the mistake of putting on lots of makeup and mascara not realizing that the plane dries out your skin like crazy. So before flying, stick with your skincare routine, and if makeup is a must, keep it minimal. I use this Vrea, it's a four-in-one concealer. It's got SPF 30, blue light protection, it's an eye cream, it's got a tint. Next, hydration is key during flight. All of that air around you, it's all recycled and it's really, really dry. So bring a hydrating sheet mask to use on the plane. I'll use one of the Aloisa sheet masks. The hydration on this mask is literally bonkers and it's only $10. I just use one sheet mask and I'll put the rest all over my lips, my neck, my chest, my decollete, but always make sure that you're washing your hands prior or using a sanitizer because you don't wanna to be touching everything on the plane. Finally, work your face out post-flight. After you get off the plane, you're typically really puffy, right? Because you're in super high elevation, you're going from low to high to low. Liz recommends her beauty magnet tool to roll your skin out. It's my five favorite skincare tools magnetize. I go in with my rose quartz roller. I work in upwards directions towards the lymph nodes. And the lymph nodes are here on the face and here. And that's what's going to help reduce swelling, puffiness and really work the skin out. And to minimize puffiness in your eyes, you just wanna go in windshield wiper motions back and forth, and this will reduce puffiness because it's increasing circulation. It's available online at beautymagnet.com. We're keeping our skin radiant after flying 35,000 feet up.